Hi everyone and welcome to this video. In this video we're going to do a very simple traffic light system using three LEDs, a red one, a green one and a yellow one and some resistors. The book says we need three resistors. I can think of a way of doing it with one resistor and I'm starting to question myself really. Have I done my thinking incorrectly? I don't think so but anyway we'll use the three resistors. So at this point if you're not used to Pico, Arduino, Python etc you might get a bit confused on this video so I'm going to draw it first just to make it simple. So like I said at the start a lot of people think this is all programming but it's not it's programming and electronics together. So if we just visit the electronic side just for a minute. So let's say the microcontroller has four pins. We've got this one which is ground we'll call it GND. I've done a Russian and there hang on. GND well, actually, I don't know if it's Russian, but it's Cyrillic by the looks of it. Um, now we've got pin 1, pin 2, and pin 3. In reality, these would be called GPIO 14, 15, 16, or whatever, GPIO 9, 10, 11, something like that. But anyway, so far so good. Now we've also got the three LEDs. Now, the symbol for an LED is something like this, uh, from what I remember. Which way is it? Something like that. Uh, and there's also a line there. So we've got three of those. Can I copy that? Maybe I can. Let's have a look. Uh, I'm using this thing called Zightboard. It is quite good actually. But it looks like I can't copy it. Okay. Well, anyway. Or can I? No. Well, anyway, we've got LED. Let's say this is R. And then we've got another one, which I'm just going to do quickly. Uh, another one. Uh, this one is amber and this one is green. So what we want to do is we want to connect these but we want to complete the circuits depending on something. Again, like I said just a minute ago, if you're not familiar with this you're going to expect to see a switch in there but remember that the microcontroller has a little brain inside it which can automatically do the switching for you so we don't need a switch. So what we're going to do is we're going to have uh, we're going to have, let's think about how we do this, we're going to have one wire feeding the green with a plus voltage, then we're going to have wire two feeding the amber with a plus voltage, and then we're going to have wire three feeding the red with a plus voltage. Now the voltage that it's going to give is, um, is most likely five volts, but it can be three volts. I'll have to research actually what it is in the Raspberry Pi. Um, I think it's probably 5 volts, I'll have to research that. But whatever it is, it works in this example. Now, so at the moment we've got a plus voltage and it goes through the LEDs, but it doesn't actually do anything because the LED circuits are not complete. So I was making a big deal a minute ago about switching. So the microcontroller itself does the switching and it's on the code. So if you write in the code here, uh, such and such a pin high, such and such a pin low, that's where the switching happens. And by high and low, it actually means provide power to it or don't provide power to it, which is pretty much the same as switching. Anyway, so we've got the red, for example. Let's just complete the circuit. So we've got, we've got to go down here and then we go to ground. So that's the circuit completed. So there's like a switch inside here. When it comes to the code, it says high or low. So power gets provided down here, goes through the LED and to ground. And then actually from ground it goes to your PC or, or whatever it, wherever it terminates. So it could be a PC or it could be your adapter or whatever. But basically the circuit has got to complete and it's got to have power for it to power the LED. And likewise this one is the same and this one is the same. So all three circuits complete. Now. I don't know if you remember from the last video, but there's something else we need to do. We need to add resistors to each one. And we've got 330 ohm resistors to do this. So we'll put a resistor here, a resistor here, and a resistor here. There are two symbols for resistor from what I remember. That's one. And the other, from what I remember, could be wrong again I'll have to double check it is that it's simply a rectangle over a line um, but I tend to use this one and you don't have to put the rectangle over it you can just do the 
the three or four squiggles and people know what it is. Anyway, uh, so that's what we're going to do. And we've got to wire this using the breadboard and so on. So that's what I'm going to do now. Okay. All right, so time to do this now. Now, the silk screen on the Pico isn't particularly good because it's not on the surface, which is why you get these little cards in the kit. So I've put it that way, we can see that pin 20 and 19, also known as GP15 and 14, are on there, and then there's a ground and there's 13. So to make this simple, let's use GP13, 12 and 11. So they are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 from the end. 4, 5 and 6 from the end. So we'll also have uh, red. Hang on a minute. Let me, I want to pull this out, actually. Now, this is the bit where I cut my hands open. It always does this. We need a bit more space, so I'm going to push it down here, if it'll go. There we go. Got a bit more space now. So, what are we doing again? So, yeah, so, miss the first three, and then we've got one, two, three. Right, we want to use the plus. Now, I've already spread these out. So, the plus is the longer leg. So I kind of bend it like this. I've got all three bent like this. So the longer leg is the plus. So we want to put the plus in. So we skip three and then there. So we'll go like that. Actually, it will be better to, to wire these a bit longer. So actually, I'm going to put them over here. So we want, what do we want? Depends on which, which way we want to. Let's put red at the top here. So we've got the plus on the right side, my right side. Got the red, and again we want the anode or the plus on the right side, the same as this. And again the green, again right side over here, just like that. So now we've got the red, the amber or the yellow, and the green in place. So all of these sides here are anodes, and all of the other sides are cathodes. So we want to match the corresponding pins that we've chosen over to their colours. So I'm going to get some of these. If I just drop something on the floor, yeah, I have. So what you could do here is use all reds to signify that the thing is, uh, you know, is the plus side. But I'm not going to bother with that. I'm going to use white for no particular reason, just because the the size is more appropriate. So, I can just get these things out. So, we need to skip three again, don't we? So, what have we done here? One, two, three, four. So, that one can go in there, number four. I might move these up a bit more, actually. We've got four. There, and we'll have this one about here somewhere that's not very nice is it might have to bend these slightly so we've got another one there let's put that one there like that yeah it isn't particularly nice but and then this one here we'll put here now we're going to have to move these over, these LEDs, so we need to move them over so they correspond to the pins that we've just set, which is there, there, and there. It's not, it's there. All right, so what have we got so far? So we've got the pins over here connected, as you can see. So we've got GP13, 12, and 11, which are here. We've got those connected, and we've got them over here. I don't know why the camera is so dark, because I've got a light on. It's quite a bright light as well. But you can see it there. Now, the next thing we need is the resistors. Where are the resistors? Now, like I said before, I don't really know why they've told you to use three resistors, because I could do this with one resistor, because all of the ground, uh, the ground lines are all shared. So you could, you know, anyway, I'll just do what it says. So we want to go 
from the green to a, a ground basically now we could use that ground actually we'll use this ground here so we'll go there to this ground rail this is ground rail here the blue one so we'll go from there to there and this is the same to the ground rail it's not going in there why is that not going in we do get a bit jammed sometimes and then again the same thing here so we've got our resistors in place it's important that they don't touch actually if if you are going to split them they shouldn't really touch just to be sure okay so now we've got this sort of situation so we've got the plus voltage going through the wires to the pluses of the LEDs and then each lag the cathode goes to a resistor which then goes to this ground uh, uh, bus thing here so at this at the moment here if well basically anything along this blue line here on this strip is all connected so now we want to finish the circuit by connecting that to a ground and there is a ground next to these ones if I remember rightly yeah one two three so pin three is ground um, so we want to connect pin three to ground now it would be nice if I could use a different color but I don't have any other colors well I do but not at the right size so we want to go from here pin 3 to the ground wire just like that ground rail sorry okay that's what it looks like and that's pretty much the wiring done not too difficult eh so we need to do some coding now let's move this out of the way Okay, so I'm going to do it a little bit simpler than the way the book does it, and then we'll build on it. But the first thing we need to do, as you probably already know, we need to import. So we need to import machine. Import machine. We also want to import U time. If you remember, U time is micro time. Import. My spelling is terrible when it comes to keyboard. Um, right. So what do you want to do now? We need LEDs. So we need LED red uh, equals machine. Then we've got the pin. Oh no, pin. Machine pin. Now what was our pin? If I have a look at this little thing again. So the red one was the one to the left, which is 13. So GP13. And were the other ones 14 and 15? No, they were 12 and 11. 11 so um, pin 13 machine dot pin dot out machine dot pin dot out that's that one complete just uh, tidy that up a little bit and we will copy and paste so control and C to copy control and V to paste if you're on Windows and we want to change that to 12 and that to 11 and of course these are going to be amber and green LED red LED amber LED green okay so <clears throat> what do you want to do now so we need the while true uh, while true or while one if I remember rightly that works fine too so what do you want to say now we want to say well, for now we'll just put the red on um, so red dot value equals true uh, true if we pass it one we pass it true just like here one equals true so <clears throat> led red value one then we want to sleep and um, we'll sleep for i don't know two seconds something like that then we want to turn it off so we do led red value off then we want to do the same for amber amber and then we want to do the same for green so what should happen here let me do green all right so what should happen is while true which means forever 
I think you should probably understand that by now as well. So while forever, get the red LED, turn it on, then wait two seconds and then turn it off and get the amber LED, turn it on, wait for two seconds, turn it off, get the green LED, turn it on, wait two seconds and turn it off. And that should be sufficient. So let's run it and make sure it works. There you go. So maybe it would be a good idea if I turn that light off now. Is that better? I suppose it is. So there's our traffic light system. I think I will turn it back on. Maybe. Yeah. You can see it and it's it's working. Okay, so a lot of my viewers are from the USA and uh, Germany, India, and various places around the world. Um, now, in the UK, our traffic lights don't work this way. They don't go red, amber, green. <clears throat> There's a bit more to it. And it certainly doesn't go from green to red. It goes back to amber. Anyway, so there's a few changes. So the first one, <clears throat> just to make it a bit more interesting, I suppose. We don't go from red to amber. It goes to red and red and amber. Sorry, red and amber. So we go from red to red and amber. So hang on a second. So we don't want to turn that off there. We want to turn it off here. So we have red. Then we have red and amber. Then we have green. So that's the first change. So let's just... Oh, what's happened there? So... Let's redo that now. So, red, red and amber, green. Red, red and amber, green. Right, we're getting there. Right, we also need to um, do something over here. So over here we need just amber. So when we go from green to red, we need amber on its own. So amber on, sleep, amber off. Let's do that again. So red, red and amber, green. Now we should have amber and then we should have red and then red and amber. Okay, so as far as the UK is concerned, that's more or less how our traffic lights work. 